Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to jump right into it and we're going to talk about not only how to install packages, but in particular the Monocle package or extension, which has tons of tools. We're going to talk in particular about the drop down converter and why that's important. So here in Dynamo for Revit 2023, so that's Dynamo 2.13. Up at the top here, you can see that I can come in and I can search for a package. Once it comes in and connects to the internet, allows all these packages to load, we can then search for a package. I'm gonna search for Monocle and install the latest and greatest. Now, because I am in the latest and greatest Dynamo, I'm good to go. I can download the latest and greatest package. If I were in an older version of Dynamo or an older version of Revit, kind of the same, then I would probably need to look into which version of the package is supported in the older application. So definitely something to take a look at if you're uh, supporting older applications or older versions of the application. So now that I have this installed, you'll see typically packages will actually show up down here under add-ons. You'll see the monocle extension actually shows up at the top here right next to the packages. And the wonderful tools in addition to the drop-down converter is the package usage doggy or doge. Not really sure how you'd say that. Uh, I believe that John Pearson, the creator of Monocle, says it says Doge. Regardless, uh, this is an amazing tool that allows you to essentially label all of your nodes based off of which package they're coming from. Definitely an amazing tool, especially if you're pushing out tools for others to use, whether that's internally or externally, and you are using custom packages. So. That way you can definitely tell which ones you need to push around the office and ensure everybody has on their computer, which is definitely a separate conversation for another day. Now, what I'm going to talk about today is based off of the category dropdown in particular. Now, in previous versions of Revit or Dynamo, we've had problems with the category dropdown because it was based off of a numbered list. So because there was different amounts of categories, depending on which version of Revit you're looking at, walls fell in a different place on the list in different versions of Dynamo or Revit. Therefore, we would always use the category by name. Category by name is a really wonderful tool. Uh, essentially allows you to read a string. So for example, if I were reading ceilings, I could use a code block or a string node and plug in the categories. However, you'll see here, when I plug in ceilings to the category by name, I get analytical ceilings, right? The analytical surfaces of ceilings rather than ceilings themselves. This isn't what I want, right? If I am programming a script to specifically look at ceilings, right? Maybe ceiling finishes and I want to push that into the room and program and be able to schedule what ceiling finish is in that room based off of the ceiling finish parameter. Definitely take a look down below at some of the previous episodes on working with materials for material schedules and legends. Well, if I were doing that, then this would be a serious problem, right? Because I don't want to select analytical surfaces for ceilings. I want to grab ceilings themselves. Therefore, what I can do is I can actually use John's drop-down converter from the monocle package. Right? So by clicking on this drop down converter here, you'll see it's actually allowing me to grab ceilings based off of some code that John has programmed in to the converted drop down workflow. So this is a game changer. Definitely saves you some time. You don't have to remember this code. 
just by clicking on the little drop down converter recycle icon there, you can see you can quickly convert any drop down. So when you're hardwiring these types of inputs and nodes, definitely what you'd want to do, hardwire them using your drop down converter. That's all I have for you today. Quick episode on how to select categories, really the best and safest way in Dynamo. Once again, using the monocle package within Dynamo. Thanks so much, John, for that. Also check out down below the Autodesk Community Voices conversation that I started on this very topic. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I hope to see you next time.